My name is Sarah. I am a voter from Michigan and I wrote in Evan Mullen for the 2016 election. I was really passionate about pro-life issues and uh, pro-life causes against abortion from an early age. And during my college years, I was very involved in my college's Students for Life group. I did not support President Trump in 2016 because President Trump's comments about immigrants and women were really troubling to me. And I thought that his character made him fundamentally unfit. So there's a lot of emphasis on President Trump being very pro-life and doing a lot for the anti-abortion cause. Uh, and that's a cause that I have been passionate about from a young age. Uh, but more and more as his first term went on, I saw that it seemed like abortion was used increasingly by Republicans in general as an excuse for defending other behaviors on other issues that I found really troubling, such as immigration or such as uh, dehumanizing other people, uh, doing things like lying and abuse of power. I was expected to ignore that and downplay it because, well, he's doing this stuff. He's pro-life. What more could you want? And more and more I was seeing diminishing returns in that regard. Uh, the Senate Republicans weren't doing anything to aggressively push forward pro-life policies. And I didn't believe that you could make a long-term pro-life movement that rehumanized the unborn by dehumanizing other people. I don't believe that is going to be a long-term effective way to promote change. And people aren't going to take your message seriously about the unborn if you then turn around and say that refugees or immigrants are non-human or treat them that way. And you can't expect people of color to sympathize with your cause and listen to you when you don't value their lives outside of the womb. Since Donald Trump came into office in 2017, uh, I'd seen a really disturbing spike in my own online circles in the amount of uh, rhetoric promoting things like white nationalism as either acceptable or something that deserved a seat at the table in places like pro-life circles. And that really took me aback. Uh, and even seeing things continue, like turning the conservative movement into a way to defend the Confederacy. Those were things that I did not sign up for when I was you know, a young college student trying to do things in my Students for Life group or the College Republicans group. Um, and just this idea that we were simultaneously defending the Confederacy, but also the party that is really going to uplift uh, non-white people is obviously very uh, dissonant. <laughs> I plan on voting for Joe Biden this election. I want to encourage anyone watching this that I know that that must seem like a really scary prospect, especially if you grew up like a similar background that I was in, where voting for anyone who did not align with your specific social conservative values seems like a huge affront. And I can still sympathize with that to a certain extent. I believe that if Donald Trump receives a second term that I'm not sure that there's going to be a place left to build towards any sort of, of culture of life to begin with.